What is up everybody, Bones and Diva here. We are back with more of your gaming news. Riot had a MOBA championship and Square Enix is looking to the future of graphics with DirectX 12. So here's your OC gaming update. Now like Blizzard's Heroes of the Dorm, Riot had their own collegiate level tournament for League of Legends. All right, wrap your head around this. 1,600 schools into the tournament back in March, and the four best teams battled it out at the championship in Santa Monica. So the four teams that made it to the finals were from UBC, Texas A&M, RMU Illinois, and the University of Connecticut. UBC and Texas A&M both beat out their competition 2-0 in the semifinals, leaving the winner of the grand finals up in the air. But as any of you who watched the live Twitch stream knows, UBC ended up sweeping a and <laughs> in an undefeated 3-0 victory for the trophy. It was epic. In the final confrontation, UBC aced a and and immediately stormed and destroyed their nexus all in under a minute. Totally seems like collegiate level esports are getting more and more mm -hmm. attention. And if that isn't enough league coverage for you, Riot is having their mid-season invitational finals this week. So tune in and watch the best of the best battle it out. In other news, Square Enix released a video of a tech demo for DirectX 12. This video shows what just might be the most beautiful real-time graphics that I've ever seen. It might even rival pre-rendered graphics. Well, that's not too hard to believe. In the video, each scene has upwards of 64 million polygons, which is more than six times what DirectX 11 is capable of. So what does this mean for us gamers? Well, for starters, we got better looking games and mm -hmm. not just the cutscenes. If DirectX is being honest with what they can deliver, we can be looking at some seriously good looking PC games in the near future. Mind blown. <laughs> Speaking of good looking games, Oculus has partnered with Otoy for a Render the Metaverse competition. So from now through the end of July, Oculus and Otoy's virtual reality contest will be selecting the most stunning 360 degree panoramic scenes and awarding prizes up to $35,000. Hey, contestants have to submit their work using the Octane VR or Octane Render software and the competition will be judged, wait for it, by legendary artist Alex Ross. So, if you guys need some extra cash and think you've got the chops, go head over to their site. And if you do submit a scene to the competition, let us know. We'll feature it in an upcoming episode. It's so awesome to see your guys' work. And yes. until then, game on! Toodle-oo! Yeah.